And the first is give you a quick overview of our software. One is called Wong, another is called Leo. Code one is a mesh generation code designed specifically for turbo machinery applications. Uh, you can do many different types of mesh topologies, such as uh, H-mesh, OH-mesh, OHH-mesh. And it can do both XO machine, for instance, multi-stage compressor, multi-stage turbine, as well as do radio compressor and turbine with splitters. In addition to that, it can also generate mesh for a wind turbine, which uh, we call a free tip, or a mesh for counter rotating propellers, prop fan, things of that sort. Uh, at last, we can also get, do the mesh for linear cascade, so that people will be able to use that tool to study the end wall secondary flow, things of the sort. This is uh, what we call code one. The second part of our major software, CFD software, is called Leo. Code Leo is a CFD code. It's a designed for general flow application as long as the fluid is ideal gas. Right? It covers flow region from very low speed to supersonic flow all the way up to 3.5 Mach number. Uh, why it's talk about low speed, really we're talking about 0 0.01, 0 0.001 type of Mach number. And second, it can do both steady state as well as time accurate flow simulations. And that is very important for this uh, entity simulation of uh, rotor state interactions. Third, this code Leo actually is a code, can do both structured mesh is solving the problem using structure mesh, or as well as this end structure mesh. And in fact, for a problem, we can solve a mix of structure mesh and end structure mesh. One important feature we're building to the code is we can use multi grid scheme for multi block structure mesh for speed of convergence of the flow solution. We can use a different type of converging acceleration called residual propagation to speed up the solution, convergence of the solution for the calculation using end structured mesh. This is a very special kind of capability. In addition to that, the coleo, inside the coleo, we also have a heat conduction module which only solve one equation called conduction equations. This whole system can run over a network, a workstation, RPCs, using pretty standard NPICH2. The whole system uh, was developed starting in March of 2004. Okay, this is really general description of our core capability, Code 1 and Code Leo. Next, just a, a chart look at, let you take a look at the mesh we can generate. On the very left-hand side is a mesh, two-dimensional view of a mesh for turbine blades using a OHHH type of mesh. It's a multi-block structure mesh. In the center is rendering of a multi-stage compressor uh, mesh, which covered four and a half stage. And the last one on your right-hand side is the mesh for centrifugal compressor with the sl splitter blades. We can do that in a very quick and very really easy to use fashion. And uh, the mesh generation process for all those three, probably within a min minutes or less, to do all those mesh, including the center one, four and a half stage compressors. Now I'm going to go into a little bit about the flow solver Leo. Okay, Leo is a versatile code can provide solution for turbo machinery problem. Here is a chart. On the upper left hand side is the flow goes through a cascade, linear cascade. What you're seeing there is the pressure on the end wall. And this show comparison between experiment data 
and our simulation on the right hand side of the upper left corner turbine and wall flow simulation under the title then on the left hand side lower portion is a Mach number contour for a multi-stage compressor for the four and a half stage to show the Mach number distribution at 20% span 50% span and 80% span on your right, right hand side is the calculation we have done carry out for a NASA centrifugal compressor called CC3. On the up is some color control. One show the Mach number distribution on the surface. Another show the pressure distribution on the impeller surface. On the lower part of the figure, showing the comparison between experiment data and our CFD prediction for five different speeds. So we can do turbo machinery with the ease. This is a steady state simulation. Next chart is show to show you we can do also a time accurate simulation for multi-stage compressor or as well as turbine on your red right hand side to really assess to understand the problem associated with the rotor stator interactions. In the center is a control plot for uh, for wind turbines, a three blade wind turbine. In the center, in the background is the entropy control at one blade radius downstream. It's showing that we can capture the vortex relatively accurately accurately due to the tip vortex flow. On your right hand side is the, our attempt to do the calculation of our counter rotating prop using time accurate simulation. Now we cleared uh, mostly the turbo machinery calculation using multi-block structure mesh or the mesh from wall. Now the next one I want to show you some of the complication we applied to apply our co-leo using n structure mesh. In this figure, I showed four configurations. On your upper right hand corner is a low speed calculation for flow past a cylinder. And we did this time accurate and intend to capture the vortex shedding from the, the cylinder and also as well as doing some conjugate transfer time accurate. This is a very low speed calculation. The Mach number is corresponding to this case is 0 0.01. On upper right hand corner is the calculation showing the velocity behind a propellers. And this is a three blade propellers. And uh, as you can see, if behind the propeller, there is a high uh, you know the red color that denote to the high speed due to uh, the propeller rotation to put additional you know, speed up the flow behind. Lower left hand corner is the transonic calculation for a jet. Flight is Mach number equal to 1.5. And you can see that the Mach cone due to the leading edge of the nose and the canopy and the compression wave behind the canopy and also there's high pressure right in front of the engine intake. This is really a very coarse mesh calculation just demonstrate we can do end structure mesh at transonic speed. On the lower right hand corner showing the calculation of a conjugate transfer using n structure mesh. The picture on this center showing the mesh, showing the n structure mesh, and the dots, really the cooling tube through the turbine vanes. This is a convection problem. And on the lower side of this picture, showing the temperature distribution from the calculation. So this is the first silver application we have 
applied are called Leo to solve a problem using n-structure mesh. Uh, 